Welcome, welcome, rockers and music lovers. This episode, we're going to take a deep dive into the new Rolling Stones song, Angry. This is a song off of their newest album called Hackney Diamonds. Hackney Diamonds, what a cool name. I had to look it up, and it means the broken glass left on the floor after a thief has smashed the window to steal something. I think it's great. It really reinforces the old bad boy image that they have been playing out for so long. This song is in open G, by the way, so we're going to have to tune our guitars to open G. A nice open G chord. Now, this song is... Um, it's in B. Is it in the key of B? I don't know. We'll get into that a little bit later. But I just wanted to start by saying, I this is the third video that I've done, including some kind of uh, open G and or reference to especially the Rolling Stones, because, um, I mean, Keith is just... He's played so much open G throughout his entire career. And I keep getting flack because I'm not using a honey-colored Telecaster with a, a humbucker in the neck. Um, so I took, I took exactly 30 seconds of my life and I went onto the internet and I found 10 photos within 30 seconds of Keith not playing a Telecaster. Here's one of Keith, guess what? Not playing a Telecaster. This one, no Telecaster. No Telecaster. No Telecaster. Again, not a Telecaster and more without Telecaster. So now that we've put that to rest, I'm going to take it one step further by using a guitar that I am certain that Keith has never laid his hands on, and that is my signature model Blues Bandito Double D custom V8 guitar. I'll leave a link in the uh, in the uh, description down below. Check it out. This guy is a master guitar builder here in Montreal, Canada. So, the song is as simple as it sounds. We're playing on the fourth, we're barring the fourth fret. So we're playing from G, G sharp, A, a sharp B. So this is a B. I've seen other people do this online, uh, 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 do this online, but they don't use Open G. I heard Open G immediately. This is like classic Keith. It's even the same fingering. And then up to E, which E would. Instead of being the seventh fret, we're tuned down to G, so we have to go up to the ninth fret to achieve that E. Two chords. So the entire verse is just that. And then uh, when it gets to the chorus, it gets a little more interesting. Uh, it goes from, so you, you go up here to the A, You're just doing the A to the E. So when you're hammering on, this is like a, this is an A chord. It's an E, it's an E with a sus. And then it switches to a C sharp minor chord. To A. That's it. It's that easy. Don't get angry with me. Hey, friends. Do yourself a favor, hit that subscribe button below. Let's keep in contact. There are so many subjects that we need to talk about. And by the way, let me know what subject you'd like me to cover in the comments. There's at least two guitars plus overdubs on this with a piano in the background. So, and, and I have to say the production on this, when you hear that and you hear the space in between the, the reverb and the delay that they put behind the guitar, it's just, I, I, I haven't looked up who produced the album, but the mixing and the production is just top notch. And, and Mix singing, he is some of the best singing of his career. It's it's tuneful and it's well done. I, I am truly impressed with what they've done this time. Uh, but back to the key. So we have the we have the B, we have the E, we have the A, 
back to the B, and then we have the C sharp and the A. So what are all the chords in here? We have B, we have E, we have A, and we have C sharp. Those are the three chords. Now, I did another uh, video on the four magic chords. Well, guess what? This is a variation on the four magic chords because when we're playing the A up to the B, and then it comes back to the C minor, we're using all those four chords in the four magic progression. And that is the one, the one, the four, the five, and the six. So what key is this song really in? Well, the only way it could be with three major chords that are E, A, and B, with a C sharp minor, that puts this key firmly in the key of E. But don't forget that rock and roll is not a major scale. Rock and roll is almost always the mixolydian. And that's what the real key of this song is, is B. And B is the fifth of E. And the fifth of any scale, when you play that scale, a major scale from the fifth degree to the fifth degree, you get the mixolydian. The mixolydian is the mode of rock and roll. Now, I also did a analysis on uh, Fortunate Son. So uh, you can check those out too. And that is another one that is in mixolydian. There are so many rock and roll songs that are mixolydian, and this one is no different. <laughs> B to E. The song is in the key of E. The key signature, if you were to write it out, is in E. But the actual, if you were to end on a chord, it would be that B chord. So it is B mixolydian. I hope you have enjoyed this. I truly enjoyed doing this one. Uh, it's a brand new song. I heard it once or twice on the radio, and then I went to watch the video. Watch the video. Uh, um, of course, it's rock and roll. There's a gorgeous woman dressed in in kind of dominatrix stuff driving around in a sports car in L.A. And uh, there's all these billboards of uh, of the Stones uh, playing throughout uh, different uh, phases in their career. It's a really fun video. It's just, it's a pure, fun, summertime feeling rock and roll song. So there you have it. That's Angry from the Rolling Stones on Hackney Diamonds. I am really looking forward to checking out some of the other songs on that album. Uh, my name is Dwayne Dixon, aka Double D, and this has been this episode of Double D's Rock School. I hope to see you again on the next episode. Please shoot a comment down below, let me know what you think, and uh, hit the notifications bell, and don't be afraid to subscribe. So thank you, I'm gonna see you on the next one. Let me, where's that beat, where's that beat?